Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Just want to take a few minutes. We're going over some spring cleaning, getting ready for the uh, summer here. And we've had in Zephyr filters for about six months now. And so the Zephyr filter, if you haven't seen it, um, it's a really nice filter. You know, we're really big here on eliminating filter bypass. So the Zephyr filter line actually has a gasket that goes all the way around it. Uh, these are MERV 16, or sorry, MERV 13 filters. They last for about six months. Uh, this is a standard 20 by 20 filter grill. I want to show you a few things that are really interesting about this filter. So before we change it though, I'm going to go ahead and get airflow just so we can look at like before and after and how changing the filter increases the airflow across it. So I'm just going to go up here, get the capture hood fully sealed, we'll let it stabilize for just a minute. And we are running about 327 uh, 327 CFM through the filter right now. So a couple things I want you to notice when we pull this thing down is first of all, and come up here and take a look here. The filter grill is not that, uh, that deep. In fact, it's only a couple inches deep. So it about, just about matches the depth of the filter. You can see all the way around here how clean the edges are, meaning that we're not getting air bypassing the filter. But the other thing I want you to notice here is the filter itself. If you look how evenly loaded this filter is, you can see the dirt, even though we have the round center, a lot of times filters are end up with a, just like a round ring where they're pulling the air through. This filter is very evenly loaded with dirt. And so that's a really good indicator that the, we're using the full media on that filter. I'm gonna pop it back up in there just for a minute and we'll get a pressure drop across it just so you can see what kind of pressure drop the filter has. So let me get a nice little tech manometer here. And you may wanna come over to the other side here because I'll just put this manometer right here. We'll just poke up through the filter media. If I can get, a, get the tip through there. There we go. All right. And we're at about fully loaded. And this filter is, like I said, six months old. And it's a MERV 13. We're at 0.31 inches of water column. So we'll go ahead, we'll pull this one out, and we'll put the new one in. We'll sort of do the same testing. And see if I had a pen there, it's gonna mark the filter, but I'll mark it afterwards. These are gasketed, so they squeak when they go in. I guess it's squeaky clean. And we'll get a number here. All right, poke through there again. And we're at 0.259, so about a tenth of an inch of static pressure drop between the filter new and the filter fully loaded. So you can see that even though that filter's fully loaded, it's got a lot of surface area there to work with. We'll go ahead and close this back up, get another measurement here. And you can see we've picked up Airflow, we're about 468 CFM, 470. So what is that? About, uh, we're at 320, so we're about 100 and, uh, 150 CFM gain of airflow. So it's definitely time to be changed. The key thing is, it, especially in an office like this, is all of our equipment's overhead. So we wanna make sure that we keep all the dirt off the evaporator coil out of the condensate drains. We definitely don't want anything plugging up here. And obviously, at TrueTech, we're pretty concerned about indoor air quality and making sure the employees have good quality air. So we always try and keep the filters up. And those MERV 13 filters really do a good job of capturing the particulates so we can just capture them and throw them away. Another nice thing with Zephyr filters is it has a nice uh, QR code on here the consumer can use for reordering. So all they have to do is take the filter out scan it with their phone, click on it, it'll reorder, 
it's a nice little add-on business if you want to uh, provide these for your customer. These are great for like, especially these 20 by 20s for areas like Florida. I mean, if you want to stop the elephant's knot, the, the key thing is to keep the particulates off the coil and keep the, uh, the food source away. So just doing those couple of things can make a huge, huge difference. And, you know, especially uh, this gasketed filter, not having that air bypass makes a big, big difference. So anyway, just wanted to show you what we're doing here and give you an idea of why we think Zephyr is a really good solution for filtering. And uh, you know, if you there'll be a link at the bottom of the video if you want to reach out and learn a little bit, learn a little bit more about this product. But I think it's one that's uh, definitely worth taking a close look at. A few moments later. So after we did the video for Zephyr, um, there was actually a little bit of concern because the pressure drop of the filter looked a lot higher than they expected. As you can see on this filter at an airflow of 400 CFM, it's got a pressure drop of 0 0.07. And so I just want to explain why we saw uh, almost like a 0.2 pressure drop across the filter. And it's because, you know, that this filter grill doesn't have a lot of depth. So when I poke the static pressure tip up inside here, I'm in an area of really low pressure, you know, high suction on this in the center of this 10 inch duct. But what I did want you to see was again, how well that filter loaded evenly, because even though the measurement was a, a high measurement, we actually have a very low pressure drop across the filter. It's just uh, basically where my static pressure tip was located.